I greet you in Jesus' precious name. A very good morning to you. It is Monday morning, the 3rd of October, the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. Acts chapter 18 and verse 9. Do not be afraid, but speak, and do not keep silent. And then we go straight to Acts chapter 23 and verse 11. But the following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Be of good cheer, Paul, for as you have testified for me in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness at Rome. A very important directive. The Bible tells us that the Lord Jesus himself spoke directly to Paul at night in a dream, in a vision. He did not send an angel because of the importance of this commandment. By the way, this is the very scripture, Acts 18, 9, which the Lord Jesus called me to go out and to testify and to speak up and to preach the good news to a dying world. Yes, I remember it so clearly. On the 17th of November, 1989, while spending time in my prayer room, the Lord Jesus Christ spoke to me clearly in my heart, not audibly, and told me not to be afraid, but to speak and to not hold my peace. And from that moment onwards, I started to go out and hire halls, stadiums, and open places and speak the gospel to the whosoever. I just want to clarify something. It is not easy. It needs a lot of faith to stand up in a public place and to declare, sometimes to a hostile crowd, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that there is no other God. It is becoming progressively more difficult these days to preach the Word of God openly. There's a thing called political correctness. You can't just say this and you can't just say that. I want to tell you that there are some nations where if you preached from the text found in John chapter 14, and verse 6, where Jesus says, I am the way and the truth and the life, and no one goes to the Father but by me. That scripture verse would be sufficient for you to be arrested and to be put in jail. It's a calling. But you know something? We are all called to tell people about Jesus Christ. Many years ago, I was uh, invited to a little town to go and preach. From the first night, it started on a Friday night, Saturday and Sunday. From the first night, I could sense in my spirit, it's going to be a tough one. First of all, we were invited to a hotel. And then the food was very late. And the people were drinking heavily. By the time the food came and was finished, the people were half sleeping. And some of them were under the weather. Then I had to stand up in an open place and I had to speak. I preached my heart out. I made an altar call and no one responded. <laughs> I will never, ever forget it. That night, I couldn't sleep. I tossed and turned. I said, Lord, I've got a farm. I'm a successful farmer. I don't need to do this. And then the next day, I said, but I'll carry on, Lord. And we had the breakthrough. Sometimes, <laughs> it looks like nothing is going to happen. And then you have an incredible breakthrough. Keep telling people about Jesus. God bless you and goodbye.